Yeah, it's just, it's just, the, it's the anime father. You're my father. I love it from, ah, Trunks. Can I handle this? I mean, that sword could freeze on top. Skadoosh. Oh, no. Hey. I remember coming up. I remember we were in the writer's room and smashing. We were just like, oh, oh. I think Lanny was just playing with different kind of, oh, no. Oh, no. It was just like different kinds of delivery as Krillin he could do. Because like Lanny's Krillin is a cartoon character and it's great. Right eyes. Oh. Axe okay. handle smash. We need a plan. We need to uh, run away. Oh, my God. Krillin's being so reasonable. He's being so, Krill, Krillin is so reasonable in this situation. Like, do you not know what's about to happen, everybody? Oh, no. What did I tell them? Roundhouse. So if you can explain to me in one sentence why you thought this was a good idea, I might just let you go. <laughs> yeah, see, I don't get it either. If you think breaking my arm was enough to defeat me, Android, I'll show you how wrong you got! Oh! Diamond woman, would you let me finish a goddamn sentence? Just throws Vegeta into the truck. It's so fucking stupid. See? This shit right here, this is why we don't group up. <laughs> I love how we explain it away. Like, this is this is the first time they all try to jump the bad guys at the same time, it feels like, in all of Z. It really, this is like the only time they ever did it. But here we are, in this scenario. <laughs> Oh my god. Ay, ay, ay. I'm just gonna do what we usually do and wait for Goku. <laughs> <gasps> I, uh, quack. Mm. <laughs> this was never intentional. We realized that. Wait, hold on. All the space duck jokes. Ah, this sport one is trustworthy. He is a duck. This is one of those accidental, oh my god, this maps matches up perfectly. Especially considering how, you know, Krillin actually ends up chatting with Android 16 the most, I think, out of everybody. Hello, bird. What is your name? Toriyama. I would love to see your dinosaur. It does what? Okay. Okay. What's crazy to me is this is back-to-back -back two jokes that are direct connections to old jokes that work perfectly here in this context. That's back-to-back, -back where Krillin is a space duck, and then the continuation of the Toriyama joke from the movie. And even if you didn't get the full context of it, it was still pretty funny, because in the end, you can make reference to things, but on their own, they have to be funny. If you can touch base on other things simultaneously, even better. But in the end, shit has to be funny as is. Uh, uh. Hey, uh, you okay down there? Uh, yeah, what did I miss? <laughs> well, both the Saiyans are down, one of the bald guys is getting choked out, and the other one is quacking. Quack! All right, I've mm. got this. Whoa, no you don't. You wanna bet? <laughs> no. Nah. <laughs> you don't have this, man. I, I can tell what's going on. You wanna bet? Not really. <laughs> Not really? <laughs> All right, so what do I win? Hello? Oh, uh, 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 why do I yell things? Hey, so I wish you went Buyakasha! There's a lot of lines Vegeta could have said in that. Well, who's got two broken arms and is a total bitch? You stupid bent. You only broke one of my arms. This guy. Oh, Aw, oh, what an evil moment from Android 18. I mean, dude, he called her a C-word. I don't know what to tell you, man. Okay, it's pretty brutal. It's like, whoa. <laughs> Just a sharp inhale. Just the... <coughs> it's like... Every... <coughs> oh my god, sorry. I tried to inhale. This is how good Lanny's was. I, I tried to emulate it for a second and it fucked me up. <laughs> so remember, Lanny voiced the Cyberman. If you compare that audio and you line it up to the Cyberman dialogue, I wonder how much it matches. That's right, everybody. I know, right? Yeah. Huh, that's cool. He can turn off the blind. Yeah, and unlike you, he doesn't need a bottle. You okay, so... <laughs> they got, she got you. Uh, but what I love is they don't know what Super Saiyan is. They don't get that. They have no idea. That's not their thing. You're just mad because I wore it better. If I wore it better, you mean people kept mistaking you for me. I'm sorry, does that make me girlish or you mannish? <laughs> That's hilarious. You talk like he fights. Um, why do <laughs> I do things? Just 
Um, <laughs> everyone just looks at him. It's like the scene from 28 Days Later. Okay, now listen. I believe that if we were to come to blows, I would, uh, come up short. No pun intended. <laughs> He's funny. Roll it back, pint size. We're not gonna fight you. You're about as threatening as a cocker spaniel. You Aww. bring up a fan? Fantastic point, so I shall continue to stand here and do nothing. Sounds good. We're gonna go kill Goku. I... <clears throat> Damn it, you can't kill Goku! Yeah, pretty sure we can. Okay, but you shouldn't! He makes a fair point, but I insist we still kill Son Goku on the grounds that I want to. Well... Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good point, 16. That's a great point. Can't really disagree with you there, 16. I have won this debate, for there is no debate. I will murder Son Goku. <laughs> you heard the mandroid. Hands are tied. If that's your answer, then I will be forced to stop you. <laughs> that's uh, cute. You're uh, cute. Have fun living to not fight another day. I like how she thinks he's kidding the entire time. The uh, hell was that? You got a thing for uh, dwarves now? What if I do? Societal definitions of beauty are BS anyway. Look, if this is about pissing off mom and dad, you could just date a black guy. Oh my god. Oh, right, they're dead. Oh my god! Their parents were awful, probably. Wow! Oh man, I gotta tell everybody! But first, Dr. Sensubin! Huh? What the hell happened? I had like 15 of these! <laughs> I... I love the sensu bean joke. It makes me so happy. Sensu bean! It's just, it puts a smile on my face every time. It's just, sensu bean! It's because he does it. He has that throwing animation where he's like, dynamic throw sensu bean, which is like, if there was like a, a like a heal ability in a fighting game, that's what it would look like. It's like, sensu bean! Oh, that should be enough. Man, they are not going to believe this. I don't believe you. I can't believe you. I don't care. Dang it. <laughs> what about you, Vegeta? <laughs> See? He believes me. And he's jealous. <laughs> I love that delivery. And he's jealous. I, if I'm remembering correctly, that was my bit. I love that Krillin just, he flies off and that is just like, mm -hmm, I know why. It's because I have a girl interested in me. Ha <laughs> ha. Krillin's lack of nose is more apparent sometimes. It's true. Damn it, not again, Trunks. Huh? Just give it up. Ugh. Mom said that he was stubborn, but this is just asinine. Yeah, but at least he's not trying to kill us all again. He tried to what? Jesus, future Bulma, what the shit? <laughs> like, you gotta give him something. He just, like, buried the lead on everything about him. And he's like, ah, oh, he was just, like, just, ah, oh, he was a fighter, proud of himself. Like, nothing. None of the, none of the, the base psycho psychosis. Not to belabor a point, but we just got crushed. They were way stronger than any of us could have prepared for. Yeah, and somehow, they're even stronger than in my time. What? Are you kidding? Jesus, future trunks, what the shit? Fantastic, so even with two Super Saiyans. We're all just the north side of useless. Well... If Super Saiyans won't cut it, then maybe what we need is a Super Namekian? Huh? Too bad those don't exist, huh? Hey, Piccolo, right? Super Namekian! <laughs> oh, my other me! Shut <laughs> up! <laughs> you can all kiss the greenest part of my ass! There are greener parts of his ass? Wait, where is he going? Looks like he's flying off to commies. Or whatever else is in that direction. Could be a lot of things. Wait, so I'm confused. Is it Kame House or Kami House? No, 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 listen. Kame House is the place with- <laughs> ah! What the- <laughs> What? <laughs> the tur- That is- Oh, that's great. That is- That is- That is- That is- That is fantastic. That is fantastic. I- no notes, no notes, no notes, you know what? Uh, I got no notes, no notes at all. I got nothing, it's, wow. Jesus! Kame House is the place with the turtle. So, uh, gonna tell me what that was all about? Look, just, you might be getting a new roommate. Do I have to move the pool table? When did you get a... I almost fell for that. Fell for what? <laughs> Ah, good old Gilf. Huh? Hi, Mom! Oh, Bulma! If it isn't my-
my beautiful daughter and my even more beautiful grandson. And this is the wonderful Amberly Connors now playing uh, Bulma's mother. Uh, she's had several actresses, but uh, Amber Lee Connors came in and stepped up for this character and knocked it out of the park. Oh, and Gohan! Long time no see! And... um... I'm not sure I'm familiar. I am Yajirobe, and I am here for your pantry. I see. Honey, we have a food stamper! Tell him I have a gun because I pay taxes! Challenge accepted. So Gohan, <laughs> would you like to come in for some cake and tea? And those little hard candies no one ever actually eats. No, I kind of have to go make sure my dad's not dead. Okay, well, you have fun. Hey, Mom, why do you never seem to age? <laughs> oh, your father won't let me. <laughs> hey, yeah, what else do we need to say? I just, she won't let her. Nope, not on, not on his watch. Hey, Piccolo, have you seen yet? You won't be as you cold or texted. Oh, I... damn it. <laughs> the Corrin joke's great. It's just, it's, it's this continuous thinking. Where is Yajirobe? I love him. <laughs> that's, that's Corrin's partner. <laughs> hey, Mr. Popo. Hello, young Kami. Ah, oh, hello, Piccolo. Good to see you again. Cut the crap, Kami. You know what I'm here for. Well, that didn't last long. All these squares make a circle. All these squares make a circle. All these squares okay, what's up with him? Don't All mind him. He just got through dropping a gallon of LSD. A, a gallon? A literal a gallon. Okay, so... All these squares make a circle was my idea. <laughs> uh, just because uh, we were looking at shots. We were trying to think of what he could say because the idea was like... Uh, Mr. Popo is just acting very... He looks very strange in this scene. There's a lot of, there was a lot of scenes with him. He just looks a little all tripped out. This was very similar, if I'm remembering correctly. It was this was very similar to like the whole Jesus wants a hug. Because I was just watching it, and it just went, "All these squares make a circle. All these squares make a circle." And Lanny immediately in Popo's voice, "All these squares make a circle. All these squares." And, and perfect. The joke was written. The second Lanny said it as Popo, we're like, "Oh yes, that's that's amazing." There you go, everybody. God damn. Let's take it away for the rest of the scene, though. I don't even know where he got it from. He never circle. leaves the. Call me. I need you to tell me that I can leave the lookout if I want to. Mr. Popo, you may leave the lookout if you wish. don't tell me what to do! <laughs> <laughs> All these squares make a circle. Mm. Quite. As you were saying, I'm here for your body. <laughs> Could at least take him out to dinner first. First, we don't eat. Second, shut up. And mm. what makes you think that I'm just going to give it up that easy? Because if you were half the guardian of this dirtball that oh. you should be, then you'd know that we don't have any time to waste. It is true. A great evil has risen. Unlike anything this planet has ever seen before. And you know what I'm talking about. You know exactly how dangerous these androids are. Am I the only one who just noticed a huge tone shift here? The androids are a threat, yes. But they are paltry to what I fear comes next. <laughs> well, that's fing ominous. Yo! Are we all good to go here in a second? Everybody jump into episode 41, a very interesting transition episode, as far as I'm concerned. They're like Episode 41 and 42 have a lot of plot to cover, because I actually remember this distinct part of the series. We had so many things we had to factor in. We had the androids. We had what was going on at Dr. Brief's house. We had what was going on at Kami house. We had what was going on with Vegeta. We had what was going on at Kame house became a game of where do we put our time into which one do we prioritize at this point because there were times in the show where we would have nothing to cut to and now there is this time in the show when that's all we have is something to cut to there's nothing but different separate plots before they all converge again they go broad and then they pull back in that's like the form of a story right so let's carry on here i have a bunch to talk about episode 41 hmm i think this is a filler episode as well no, not this one. Not this one. Seriously, can we speed this up? It's cold as tits up here. You know, maybe if you stopped whining and helped me look, we'd... 
Oh, oh, look, there's one. There's... Actually, second thought, we don't have to steal the first one we see. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't hear you over your welching. Ugh, whatever. Okay, welching was a word, because uh, originally the line was going to be, I can't stand it over your bitching. But Scott was like, ah, we're saying bitch too much. Gotta have another word. And I'm like, like, what? I just keep, we just kept going. We landed on welch. And I'm like, welch? Who the fuck says welch? So, Jones, uh, how's the wife and kids? Still dead, Chuck. Been four months. Ow. Oh, I am terrible at small talk. Yes, you are. Yeah, huh? he is. Huh. Lucky foods. Kind of ironic. Uh, young man, need you to stay out of our vein. All right, guys, we're taking the... What I love about Kaiser's audio editing is he knows how to do a placement shot properly. Like, if this was, a, like, a, a show, like a streaming show, this would have audio coming from both sections. It just come, come from everywhere. But Kaiser here has the take happen. You feel it a little bit more on the right-hand side of the actual frame. And then as he opens up the door, the reality is you hear the audio on the left-hand side muffled because it's blocked by the actual camera where it is placed right there. It places you more in the scene. And this is just a small snippet of Kaiser's incredible audio mixing. No, buddy. We're going to drive it. Oh. Sorry. It's cool. Now you have a place to sit. Affirmative. Mm. Shotgun. Not quite what that means, but hey, keep trying, man. <laughs> Shotgun. Kits in. Shotgun. Bitchin'. Next stop, Casa de Goku. How about no? New clothes first, Goku's Casa second. <laughs> Women. Am I right, 16? Confirmed. She is female. <laughs> she is. <laughs> what makes the Android 16, uh, Android 17 and 18 dynamic work is they know he's misinterpreting them, but they don't call him on it and they just roll with it. And it's why I, I the, like, again, Kaiser's focus on making sure the Androids were, felt like a collected unit just rings true throughout their entire run in the show. And seriously, props to Kaiser. For and Lanny, it's not just Kaiser, but like Kaiser was kind of the one was pushing that. We all have to sit down and write all the dialogue out still, but you know, in the end, credit where credit's due. Yeah. No, I go. should have brought this up earlier, but we should probably move Goku before the androids get to his house. Yeah. It's been pretty nonstop here, so I'm a little out of the loop. What happened to Goku? Oh, uh, he didn't take his medicine. Grape flavored. Go figure. Yeah. Go figure. Actually, I really need to... The, the, the slow disenchantment of Trunks is one of my favorite continuous bits in this show. He's like, oh, these people suck. Go pick up Chiaotzu. Left him over at Kame House. So, how do you like my Chashu ramen? Well, that is freaking tasty. What's in this? A little bit of sake, soy sauce, bean sprouts, pork. I'm delicious. How old are you? <laughs> How old are you? Thank you for asking the question we're all asking. So I'm going to go grab him before things get weird. Later, Tian. Already got weird, bro. I can never read that guy. No, no one can. Wait, before we go in, uh, I huh? wanted to ask... Okay, so this, this, now there are line reads in this show that are just like, that's a great line read. That's funny. That's wacky. That's off the wall. What a scream. It's really hard to do a good, subtle, quiet line perfectly. It's very challenging because you don't have a lot of energy to play with. You got to nail on everything. And here comes Kaiser's perfect delivery. Buckle up, everybody. Hit it. You ever think that Android 18 is, uh, kind of cute? No. That's, yeah. <laughs> That's, ha, ah, man. All right then, Dibs, by the way, quick warning. Be super nice to Goku's wife. She can be a total... Johan! Oh, it's you. Yeah, fine, I pretty much asked for that one. Yep. Huh? Hey, guys! How it is? Oh, uh, Yamcha, right? How's it? Hey, I mean, how you doing? Oh, uh, you know. Oh, hanging in there. <laughs> God! 
God, I love this joke. <laughs> oh, you know, hanging in there, man. Hanging loose, you know. Hanging out. Just hanging around, you know. It's one thing I like to do. It's hang. It is one thing Yamcha knows. It's how to hang, bro. No one knows how to hang better than Yamcha. Ah. Uh, so what happened? <laughs> Did Vegeta clean up the androids? Not quite. Turns out there were three more. Vegeta got his arms broken, they beat everyone up, Piccolo flipped out, and I got kissed by the cute one. The clown? No, 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 there's a girl now. I don't believe you. You know, we should probably... <laughs> I, I love this because it's like y Yamcha wasn't there for all the other shit. I don't believe you. It's, Yamcha wasn't there for any of that. He's so behind. He's behind so much now. Probably continue this conversation after we've moved Goku. Move Goku? But he finally stopped screaming. Uh... Okay, well, well, he's petering out. We'll take him to Kame House. They'll never look for him there. That is literally the second place second. they'll look. Yeah! Look, we're short on time and options. And who knows what those dastardly androids are doing. Wow, you actually pulled over. No, 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 this is gonna be great. Shut up. <laughs> this is for the... He Android 17 turns to Android 18. Yo. This is for the TikTok. Okay? This is for the TikTok. L2! This vehicle has been reported as stolen! You are under arrest! Sir, I have checked the vehicle and I have identified another male. And he is f***ing big! You cannot- He's big! <laughs> He's big as fuck! You cannot sit in the back. I called shotgun. He has a weapon! Cuff him! I can break these cuffs. Do we have any bigger, stronger cuffs? Yeah, they're in the car. Huh. All right, I take it back. This is fun. And that was an epic prank job. Pranked. Pranked. That's what happened right there. You have been pranked. What if he exploded and his 16 threw up his arms? Prank! So where's Vegeta during all this anyway? Oh, I'm sure he's off somewhere. Ah, oh, damn it! Yeah! Coping. God damn it! Yeah! Yeah! Oh good. Oh, I swear I am never letting you get away from me again. We're gonna get that GPS tracking chip installed in your neck by the end of the week. Uh, little help. Androids are coming. Gotta move your dad. Get on the ship. Where are we going? Kame House. Isn't that literally the second place they'll look? Less lip, more ship. All right, now we're here at Kame House. Everyone, buckle up. I'm here for Chiaotzu. We need to train. But Tian, the doctor said if your shoulders get any bigger... That's why we don't see him anymore. <laughs> That's my joke. <laughs> why are your shoulders so big? They're just so big! I'm more worried about you. You have to walk sideways through doors. Wait, so you didn't beat the androids? Well, they broke both of Vegeta's arms. So, you know, that was pretty fun. Yeah. Otherwise, it was a total wash. I can never read that guy. Well, you heard the man. Pig, fetch my laptop. We're gonna buy us a submarine. All right, but you're not allowed to name it after your junk. Fetch up buying it, I'm naming it. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. That, that joke comes back, everybody. I'm buying it, I'm naming it. The USS Medish. <laughs> Just a ha 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 I swear to God, Lanny, what Lanny is doing here with Mr. Popo is the same thing that uh, Trey Parker does as Randy Marsh. The ha 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 He's doing the exact same thing, and it works perfectly in this scene. Oh, just fuse already. So, both arms, huh? Both? She was beautiful with a capital B. I, I mean, brutal. Uncomfortably brutal. <laughs> I wasn't distracted by her eyes. So, wait, Trunks? Cool. I'm curious. If you came back in time again mm -hmm. to help us, does. All right, so this was the scene where we had to explain time travel. We actually were. I remember us actually having a detailed conversation about this. Um. 
Time travel as a plot device is very fucky wucky. It causes a lot of problems, which is why the one thing with time travel plots, like the, based on what I've watched and witnessed, is you have to establish the rules and not deviate away from them. So we had to look at how Z explained this and tried to trim it down in a way that really made a lot of sense. So we decided to go with multiverse theory because based on everything that we had seen, that is how it operated, which theoretically there should be like a million cells appearing for all the separate timelines, which is, if you really want to argue that shit, which is the problem with time travel plots is the second time travel happens is a plot hole immediately because everything should just go insane because like, hell, there was a Rick and Morty episode about that, especially. <laughs> I like the idea. It's, it's one of the things I liked kind of about Loki a little bit is like in the end, when you do a time travel jump or you jump into a different timeline and stuff like that, it creates a rift in that area. So you can't really jump to that area now because someone's already there and it's too chaotic. And I'm like, oh, that makes sense. So anyways, let's carry on here and let's jump into this conversation where again, I remember this being a multi-day conversation. This actually was a pretty big writing point. I'm like, I'm, my memories are coming back. Not specific details, just the amount of time we spent on it. That mean we already failed? Actually, turns out that's not how time travel works. So you're saying I can't just take your time machine, go back in time, and tell myself not to date Marin? I don't know who that is. But no, you couldn't. I mean, you could, but it wouldn't be the same you. You see, when I travel back to the past, I'm technically going to a different universe. Oh, you mean multiverse theory? Wait, what? Yeah. With every decision, it creates a branch in the timeline. Whenever you travel back in time, you're actually entering another parallel universe. How could you possibly? I've been studying theoretical physics. Although at this point, I guess it's just physics. Good. Yeah, that then point. if that's all out of the way, we can start your review on cellular biology. Ah, uh, but cells are boring. I don't. Ha-ha! Get it? If it doesn't affect your timeline, why even come back to ours and tell us anything in the first place? Well, besides wanting to make at least one timeline without the world being destroyed... Yeah. My mother didn't tell me until after I'd already done it once. And then she tried to bang you! The and then she tried to bang you! <laughs> Great. Delivery. From Krillin. God, I love Krillin. God, I love him so fucking much. And then the ringtone. Uh -huh. Oh, speak of the devil, that's her ringtone. What is that? What is what? This music. You mean country music? Oh, this is country music? What, you don't have country in the future? No, shortly after I was born, it all just vanished. Nobody knows exactly what happened. So someone want to get that? Kind of flying the plane. Ah, oh, fine. Krillin speak- Shut up, I've got some important news. That's, th thank you to DJ Sexadillion for singing the uh, country western version of Cats. They love their food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good or bad news? It depends. Is Trunks there? Is this a booty call? Krillin! Right behind me! <laughs> Krillin, you, you plucky, plucky human. Mom. Hey. <laughs> you missed me, four eyes! That was a warning shot, fat ass! Now put down the fridge! Viva the honey face ham! He's just eating the food nonstop. You can't stop me. Yeah, anyway, I just got the strangest call from some farmer in the countryside 50 miles out of Gingertown. Said he found one of our vehicles out there. Wow, this is so interesting. Does it have anything to do with the androids we're fighting? Shut up, and it might. I'm faxing over the picture he took. You have a fax machine? What's a fax machine? You see, that one makes sense. Just shut up and show it to Trunks. What? No, this can't be right. This is my time machine. Now here's where everything gets fucking weird. Maybe you weird. misplaced it. That's impossible. I put it away in its capsule. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Here, just let me show you. Wait, no! Oh, no. Oh, my God! It's on top of Goku! Yeah. Put it back! Put it back! Put it back! Ah. Oh, good. That's back. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, I've been thinking about it. What do we do after we kill Goku? Whatever the hell we want. Who's gonna stop us? Not Goku. Exactly. Speaking of which, 16, what's our ETA? 
We are currently 2,544 oh miles Oh my from god. Hey, come on, sis. It ain't so bad. Let's turn on our good old friend, the radio. Oh, that is 10 pounds of nope in a 5 pound bag. Right, right. Sorry. Forgot we were out in the sticks. You know what? I think I know the first thing we're gonna do. First thing they're gonna do. We already know what they're gonna do. They're gonna destroy all country music one step at a time. Love that ending bit too. It's fantastic. This is a great. We had to we had to do a big lore drop on how this actual stuff worked in the show, the actual time travel, because we're now about to introduce the third timeline now. Because right now we have two. We have the main timeline we're in, and we have the one that Trunks is from. Turns out there's another Trunks, or maybe the first Trunks with the Trunks, and this is a second Trunks from a different one. I, this is why everything gets so complicated. You're gonna get yourself complicated. Dang, 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 dang. This is the last episode before you're caught up. Wink, how'd you guess? How'd you guess, everybody? That's right. Talking, this is one of my best commentary streams you've had yet. Thank you, Corey Lilly. I, you know, after, now that I'm done them, I figured it out. <laughs> Episode 42! It's just yeller. It's just wild. This is the best you've got. That is our top of the line. How do you like it? Like is a strong word. As obviously Kaiser Neko, as uh, the uh, clothing shop in a southern town, which are selling southern outfits with shoulder pads. Guys, let's be real here. Why can't we buy more shit with giant shoulder pads? It's kind of bullshit. Like, where are the capes? Where are the shoulder pads? Where is the, where is the like, ab armor? Where's all the outfits we actually want? No, we just got brand shirts. <sighs> so let's tolerate. Hate's actually looking a little weak right now. Oh, but darling, you look like the most beautiful rose in a rose garden. I'm sure if I came home with you, my daddy might even love me again. And that is my cue to leave. God damn. Later, cowboy. Uh, sweetheart, you gotta pay for those. Uh, uh, cash or credit. The, the register's on the inside. You are getting into your car. You are driving away, and I have been robbed. I've been robbed. You blind bimbo, you get back here this instant. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I think in the actual show, he backs up because he yells something really rude, and they're like, ah, oh, let's kick his ass. Well, this is the androids. They're just going on a road trip, kind of. And in truth, I wish there was more filler in this part where they just go to a small town, and there's like a little girl who's like, there's a there's like a bird that's on the ground and his wings are hurt. And then Android 16 helps the little girl heal up the little bird by being all a soft boy while Android like 16 and 17, 8, 17 18 rob the whole town. And then you go like, wait, he wants to heal things, but why does he want to fight? It is because I must kill Son Goku. It is my one thing. It's like, wow, Son Goku being dead. Like, wow, what a thing. Come on, I Fucking <laughs> So when we wrote the two episodes back to back here, we had to prepare for this because we had to do another giant lore drop episode where we had to explain timelines and how fucked everything got because of this shit, right? Alright, we should be getting close to the site. Um, Mr. Chunks? What's up? If you don't mind me asking. So what's neat is I think this is the first time Trunks and Gohan traveled together. Now, knowing what happens in the history of Trunks abridged, this has got to be intense for Trunks right now. The person he knew was once this person, but they are not the same person. So he's got to kind of, like, bide his time on this one, but there's so many subtle little allusions to that. You know me in the future, right? Yeah, actually, you were my mentor. Oh, wow. Some people say, so are you telling me in Trunks' future timeline, Android 16 was never activated? Yes. Arguably, he was activated, and the other androids, like, killed Dr. Jiro and blew up Android 16. Arguably because of how Android, uh, Dr. Jiro woke up the androids in the original Trunks timeline, there might have been a scenario where Android 16 was good to go, and then they jumped him because they needed to get rid of, like, maybe there's a programming in Android 16 that he would defend Dr. Jiro all the time. Oh, uh, he calls Trunks Mr. Trunks, and Trunks calls him Mr. Gohan. Yep, that's, that's good shit, right? There's a lot of illusion here. Now, let's keep going. What is adult me like? Well, I suppose you take a lot after your father. In what regard? You're the strongest, <laughs> bravest warrior. <laughs> In what regard? <laughs> In what regard? You're the strongest, bravest warrior on the planet. Okay, good. <laughs> good. All right, that's... Okay, good, good. That's what I needed. Why do you keep staring at my arm? Oh, uh, hey, what's that? Well, this definitely looks like my time machine. 
But it also looks like it's been here for ages. Yeah, this Ooh, was a, a mystery. As a kid, I was so confused about this. I never get to solve mysteries, like Sherlock Holmes or Batman. Usually, we're just busy finding people, like yeah. Bruce Lee or Batman. Yeah, he does a lot. Hey! Oh, look, your mom's here. Oh, good. Oh, good, he gumdrops. Hey there, Gohan. And. son. Mother. So, is that your time machine? Well, it looks like mine, but it can't be mine. Yeah. This is so interesting. This one here is the one I used to travel back in time with. Mm -hmm. If you'll notice, it has the word hope written on the side. This is where they try their best to explain the level of complex time travel you're about to endure in this show. They have a whole episode where they're trying to explain to you how shit works because Toriyama's about to have to insert another character. So unless this one has it written in the same place, we... Oh. Crap baskets. Oh. So, um... So it's the same one. So in the end, I'm not gonna lie. One thing I look back retroactively in this scene, between the hope on his time machine and the hope on the old time machine from another timeline, I wish someone and you know who had cut an N into the word hope at the beginning. I would have loved if we had actually gone it so it looked like Cell had scraped in the N instead on top of Hope. Oh, that would have been so subtle. Like, he's just laughing as he does it. <laughs> Even using Trunks' sword real quick and just breaking it over his knee and throwing it away. I wish we had done that, because that, immediately if he pushed that over and it would have seen, seen the scratch, no, he'd be like, oh, fuck, someone's here who shouldn't be. Crap baskets. Oh, you say that too. Wait. <laughs> that is so cute. I love the crap baskets joke. I never came up with it. It was never my joke, but God damn it! every time I hear it, it makes me smile like crazy. Oh, you say that too. Why hope? Because you called me our last hope. Holy crap, that's so cheesy. What, do I have like a ton of cats too? Hey, anyone else <laughs> notice the hole on the top? <laughs> huh, weird. Do you think whoever was piloting it was attacked? Actually, I don't think so. Considering the curvature of the melted glass, combined with the lack of any glass or damage in the cockpit, we're safe to assume. Whatever shot the canopy came from the inside. And what does that tell us? Um, that the blast came from the inside. Here. Oof. This is busted. Huh. So, any idea what these are? Oh, I think I kicked an alien. I had two empty halves of coconut shells and it was banging them together. No, he wasn't. <laughs> and that looked like that once. Hey, let me get a look at it. I want to help too. As the daughter of the world's leading class scientist with doctorates in both bioengineering and evolutionary biology, I can only deduce that this is a mutant coconut. It's true. It's a mutant coconut. How did you know, everybody? She got to the cage. She figured it out. Bulma's a genius. Bulma's a scientist. Bulma's half of Batman. Either that or an egg. An egg? <gasps> I egg. Bugs! Whatever made that hole hatched from this egg. You keep examining the time machine. I'm gonna go search for clues. Well, at least one of us is having fun with this. Two of egg. us. Egg. And then they flew egg. off! God only knows where they are now. Thanks for letting us keep Goku here, by the way. Yeah, that's nice. So there's a hot one now. Oh, yeah, like you wouldn't believe. Her eyes are this beautiful, piercing blue. Her confidence is stunning. And she does this adorable little thing with her hair where she brushes it out of the way. Fantastic. How's the rack? See, I love that that joke. We, we use all these comedy jokes with Krillin in this scene. And these kind of scenes like this to be like, he's talking about this girl he likes. And instead of just going, she's got a crazy ass, great tits. None of that. He's just like, oh my God, her hair is beautiful. Her eyes are great. He's like, dude, he's not focusing on the physical aspects. He's focusing on just her as a person. And it's, it immediately Roshi goes, hey, how's the rack? It reminds, it's like a perfect re, like it's funny, but it also illustrates that where Krillin's priority is, is elsewhere. How does Trevor get up the stairs slowly? Roshi, Goku sweating purple. Is that normal? Did he eat grapes? I don't know. That boy can't handle his grapes. Speaking of fruit, what are we talking here? Apples, oranges, melons? Is that really important? Yes! 
<laughs> yes! Oh, hello. And what are you? Hey, Trunks. Again, I think I found watching this has freaked me out a little Either bit. Either that or a record setting cicada. I'm okay with both, actually. Ah! Oh my god, is that thing alive? No, pretty sure that this is just a molt. Something crawled out of that? Hey, if you guys don't want it, mind if I take it home with me? Whatever was in here might just be the creature that came out of that ship. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, I really wish I had it. Considering oh, how fresh this hand. molt is, it's likely that whatever oh, shed its sticky. skin did so very recently. Yeah, Meaning that it might very well oh, no. still be here. Okay, so what's great about this is two jokes are happening simultaneously. Once again, we're having, like, Masako, is, who's killing it as Gohan, is perfectly explaining what has happened here. And in the background, Trunks is like, oh, God, it's on me. Ah, ah, ah. In between, when he's talking, you can hear the little, like, little snippets of what the other conversation is. So we're able to get across the information and also make you laugh at the same time. Hell yeah. Trunks, it was good to see you again. And Gohan, say hello to your mother. I'll call you later. Okay, bye. Yeah, she's out. She's out. She's like, no, 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 no. But you wouldn't have to carry hand sanitizer on you, would you? Do you, do, do you not? Do you, ew, 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 ew. Ew, 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 ew. Ew. Uh. What? So you guys are by Ginger Town, right? We were. This is where the whole plot goes. Wacky. The whole plot goes wacky. Buckle up, everybody. Why? Because there is some major shit going on down there. Shit of what variety, exactly? The not good kind. This is Flash Stormwind reporting live for CQTV here on... That's, that's, that's Purple Eyes right there. Station in Ginger Town. Well, thank you, Flash. What's the situation down there? Mass unadulterated panic, Hal. Just moments ago, screams erupted throughout the streets only to be followed by deafening silence. Now there seems to be nothing left but a ghost town, littered with the clothes of its former inhabitants. We have yet to find... That's so... I The visual... The visual of what Cell does to people is fucking terrifying. It's like straight up a horror shit. It's why I really like Cell initially being introduced, because it's such a... Like, step to the left, like, the fuck is happening? <laughs> out the reason why. Well, do you have any speculations, Flash? Well, Hal, I cannot say for certain. However, recreational marijuana use was recently legalized in the region. So I believe we can all come to the same conclusion. Just a moment. Someone is approaching. Excuse me, you terrified looking gentleman. What are your opinions on the legalization of- Oh my god! Ah! Wow, someone should probably go check that out. Yeah, my stash is running a little low. He's <laughs> just... This Roshi's just got a J, man. Roshi's just got a J. Hey, guys, we're back. What's that smell? Is there a skunk in here? Oh, hey, Gohan. You like mysteries? Do I? <laughs> Ooh, you might not like this one. Okay, so you felt that one right. I did. And you're still just going to put this off? I might. All right, I've had enough of this. I have literally been sitting here meditating. Dozing. Meditating for the last, uh... Three hours! Thank you, Mr. Popo. Three hours! So either shit or get in my body. I... No! Listen. Respect to Kaiser and Lanny for what they got to write here. I really did not have a lot to say with this scene. I wish I could take credit for this. I can't. It's just really them. I still need to feel the situation out. What the hell is there left to feel out? Between your cryptic warnings and jerking me around, I'm pretty sure an entire city is either missing or dead. You're the Guardian. Start acting like it. Yes, I am the Guardian. The Guardian of this planet. And you wish to take that title from me. Are you kidding me? This can't be about the job. The first chance you had to drop this gig, you tried to hand it off to Goku. He did. Goku! He doesn't even look after his own kid. I look after his kid more than he does. But it's still my job, my responsibility. And that's really good and all. But if you don't fuse with me, the entire world you're guarding might be destroyed. Maybe I'd rather it be destroyed than ever have to be a part of you again. Mom, Dad, please stop fighting. 
So that's what this is all about, huh? No, no, that's not what I... No, no, it's fine. I was kind of a dick. I get that. Listen, Piccolo. I've been the Guardian for over 300 years. I've seen wars, sickness, death, and worse. All the while trapped on this lookout, unable to interact with the outside world for more than moments at a time. Yeah. Now the only chance I have left is giving up my free will to someone else. It's just another prison. Wow, I... I didn't... It's fine. I'm done anyway. You're right. If I don't do this now, we are likely to lose everything. But know this, Piccolo. Once I fuse with you, the Dragon Balls will be no more. Ah, that's not a problem. We've got a whole planet of our people just waiting to make us more. What do you mean, our people? Stop being a smartass and let's just do this already. Well then, Mr. Popo. I suppose this is goodbye. It's been... a trip. Remix is... I'm so happy we got him to do voices for our show. He made our show better. And no more obvious is this scene. Uh, yes! <laughs> well, I'm sure you're already familiar with the technique. <laughs> that custom... That custom popo. Oh, yeah! Yeah, it has been! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> right. All right now. Lower. Yeah, not falling for that. Hm. I didn't think so. <laughs> oh my god, I'm coming down! <laughs> Ooh, that was crazy. So did you actually eat Kami or was that the acid? So this is who we were, huh? Hello. This is... This was a fun fake out. Oh. Got real quiet. Holy crap, are they finally... <laughs> uh, of course not. <laughs> Isn't this the part where you chant to yourself? Shut up. Come now. We should do whatever feels right. Oh, please no. You can win! You feel great! You can do this! Hmm. Hey, pick... Now he's grumbling like Kami. Hmm. <laughs> and now, and now Piccolo grumbles like Kami. The high blind Piccolo idea of him having the other voices, the people he's fused with in his head, is one of my favorite bits we've added to the show. It's like a properly formulated ghost nap a bit. It's just like, like Kami's just instantly into it. We faked out everybody that we we're gonna get rid of because everyone thought we were gonna get rid of the entire bit. Now that he's all like, are you gonna have both voices in his head, or are you gonna get rid of them? What are you gonna do? It's like, no, both voices. If you wear a headset, you hear Kami on one side and you hear Nail on the other. It's fun. Hello, could you pick up yet? Oh, he doesn't have a. Ah, oh, crap. Well, I know someone who's not getting invited to Sunday brunch. Oh, who am I kidding? We like him. It's just the idea of Corrin's like, can you bring my boyfriend here? Can you bring him here? God damn it. God damn it. Like, he can't go do it himself. He's just got to wait for other people. Uh... <laughs> here he comes. Well, only one thing to do. Turn down for yeah! Now, 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 the lids are surely going to shout racism over this one, but this is just what happens when you elect a dog as king. You should vote for my guy, because when my guy wins, all the problems are someone else's, even though he's in charge. So you think this is whatever came from that egg trunks? Definitely. This isn't the work of the androids, that's for sure. Not unless they're starting the world's first mandatory nudist colony. I'm going to go down there and check it out myself. Maybe. I'll admit, after everything that's happened, I'm a little bit worried I'm responsible for these events. <laughs> Wait, are you sure you should go alone? The only other person strong enough to help us right now would be my father. And even if I knew where he was, which I don't, I'm not sure he would help us. No, you see, I didn't f up. I just underestimated her. This is where the Vegeta uh, curvature inverts inside itself. I went in a little too overconfident. But of course I was a little overconfident. I mean, have you ever met me? I'm me. I'm a big deal. And you know who's really at fault here? The boy. The boy. <laughs> It's just, that's a Homer Simpson reference. The boy. <laughs> oh, the future is so bad. Well, maybe it wouldn't be if you weren't such a pansy ass. Now, once I get back in the game and destroy those metal brats. 
There'll be nothing left to get in my way. <laughs> Good old Vegeta. Nothing beats him. No sweat off Vegeta's back. This scene fucking freaked out people. I remember when we released this, we were kind of nervous because this is such a vibe check, but we, um, no, we wanted this to be different. We really wanted people to recognize this because, like, Frieza's introduction's pretty neat. Vegeta's introduction's pretty neat. Cell's is strange. But also, we didn't want to remove the really creepy elements of it because the fact that this all happens during the middle of the day, it's bright, sunny day, and you see just all the leftovers of people. And it's really frightening. Visually, it's very unsettling. Well, this is classic. The moment God disappears, suddenly the rapture happens. Yes, the irony is not lost on me. Could you guys stop talking for a minute? Oh yeah, don't want to distract you. Might get hit by one of these abandoned cars. I've always wanted to drive a car, but by the time they were invented, eyes weren't so good for it anymore. Piccolo, you've driven a car, right? How was it? Wait, seriously, shut up. What is that? Mr. One more time, guys. I just, again, I'm, I still get chills doing this because, like, I remember, I'm trying to remember, I think it was Kaiser came up with the idea of singing Mr. Sandman. We were trying to figure out what we wanted Cell to say initially, like how we wanted him to come in. And we had a, a list of different songs, and uh, we went with Sandman, which was the right cho choice. But um, I had a couple in my head. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. Mm -hmm. It's not unusual to be clowned by anyone. <laughs> There's a million songs you could have him sing. Again, I had been practicing for years to get to this scene. And it's like, all right, your first scene will be a song. Fuck! Bam, 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 bam. Mr. Sandman, oh, bring me a dream. Oh, a dream. Make him the cutest cutest I've ever seen. I've ever seen. Give him two lips like roses and clover. Sing a cell in the past. Then tell him that his lonesome nights uh, are ooh, over. Yeah. Hello. Friend. <sighs> How's it going, Daddy? Oh, Nichan. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, Nichan. Everybody, that was it. Now I'm all caught up, everybody. So uh, now I can do uh, the announcement again. So essentially, what I did a couple weeks back is I had to take a week off from streaming. Uh, you know, which you never heard to streamers momentum ever. Uh, uh, so I actually traveled down. Uh, I left the VTuber space. I, I received an extra D inside me. So now I was able to go uh, to the real world again. And I appeared at the end of the most recent commentary, uh, episode 42. And I have filmed a good chunk of videos. And uh, so the next video is going to be featuring, next couple of videos are going to be featuring me. Uh, in person, wearing giant glasses to hide my VTuber self. That's right, everybody. You don't get to see all of me. I've, I've hidden my, my eyes behind glasses. I can't wait for everyone to be mad about that. But also, I like maintaining VTuber kayfabe. I, I really do, because I like this space, and I like doing this. But also, I wanted to be able to do commentary. So, kind of had to marry two both together. We'll have to see how it goes. So some Bret Hart looking glasses. Thank you so much. Thank you all so much for coming to the commentary stream. We got all caught up. Seriously, we're all caught up now. That's fucking awesome. Thank you so much. I want to wish you all the best, everybody. Thank you so much for swinging on by here to my DBZ creator commentary stream with black chicken hookers. And if you notice, there were no black chicken hookers this time. It was just creator commentary stream. And going forward, you'll be able to check them all out on TFS Bento.